it was something that I could do. So, um, yeah, very much looking for the opportunities and, and grabbing every opportunity you can. Yeah. To, uh, you know, to learn yeah. new things, to get better, to improve, to, you know. <laughs> and, yeah, um, absolutely. And that that's the key, like, like, like you're, you're saying, you know. When the opportunities present themselves, just grab them and figure it out later rather than, you know, get scared and actually miss them. And, uh, you know, when you're in that zone, actually, you can identify those opportunities and you're just, you know, putting yourself out there. You've got the experience, you know, the, the successes, the, everything that you have, and you can actually deliver all these things. So, yeah, it's 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 actually good to actually take uh, uh, opportunities as they present themselves like that, which is what you, you've actually demonstrated. So, um, I mean, what, what, what would you, what would be your, like, like um, I mean, we talk about mindset. What, what, what would you say is the role of uh, ongoing personal development or mentorship or education for people in terms of improving themselves in any particular way towards whatever life goal they would have? I, I think it's one of the most important things you can do mm. to surround yourself with people who help to lift you up. Yeah. Uh, people that are better than you at stuff so that you can learn from them because mm. that's that's the whole point of everything that's why we have teachers they are experts and you can learn from them to then get better and yeah. mentorship has made a huge difference um or i'm on various different masterminds and have various mentors that i go to for yeah. different things and it has not failed yet to to make me better, to yeah. give me new ideas. Because you, we're, we're terrible at seeing our own strengths, terrible at it usually. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're great at seeing our weaknesses, terrible at seeing our strengths. Mm -hmm. Other people can see that and can point that out. We get so bogged down in like trying to make this particular thing work that we don't have that big picture view a lot of the time that says, actually, have you thought about trying it like this instead? And when somebody says that and you go, oh, yes, that would be amazing, but it hadn't occurred to you because you're yeah. so busy in the situation that you can't see it from the outside. That, yeah. that is one of the, the many, many reasons why having other people working as your, your mentors, being smarter than you and better than you and more experienced than you can be the difference between success and failure. Yeah. It's um, money always well spent. Yeah. Ways. Was in my budget. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That that's great. And uh, I mean, look, looking back at uh, your life, you know, from uh, the beginnings to here, is there anything you think you would change? <laughs> no. Bearing no, no, no. in mind everything that has happened that shaped you to be where you are here. There are a couple of uh, hastier decisions that then made life a little more complicated, but yeah. all of those things led to where I am now, mm. and I wouldn't change that. Yeah. So, so no, I don't think I would. Yeah. I, um, I might have been a little braver earlier on, yeah. knowing now that I can, mm. because you, like, you'd be amazed at what happens when you're brave enough to just ask. Yeah. I wrote a book this summer, um, released on the 1st of July, the GCSE Survival Guide for Parents. And I just put down everything I know in the yeah. book. But mm -hmm. what I wanted was a big book launch. And I wanted a celebrity or someone to write me the foreword yeah. or do me a cover splash quote or something. Yeah. And I don't know any celebrities particularly, but um, I got my virtual assistant, who's amazing, mm -hmm. to, um, she bills me for celebrity mum stalking which always makes me laugh. But she went and found celebrity parents who had kids at the right sort of age yeah. and just ask them, just write and ask them, get in touch on, on social media and ask them, would yeah. you be interested in reading this book and giving us a quote? And because we asked, we got Claudia Winkleman to write a little quote for the back, uh, yeah. Terry Dwyer from Hollyoaks to do the uh, the foreword and Sinetra Sarka, who you might know from... Um, from Gogglebox, Celebrity Gogglebox, or Acne Bridge, or Zoe from Casualty. She read the book, loved it, and 
And because of that, we got in touch mm-hmm. and she ended up doing a half hour chat with me about the joys of parenting a year 10 child and, yeah. and how she felt about the book and things. And she is now one of our members. She's just, she's lovely. And none of that would have come about if we mm-hmm. hadn't been brave enough to just go, do you know what? What's the worst that could happen if we ask? <laughs> That's that's a, that's a brilliant attitude, isn't it? Because most of the time we're not asking, we're we are afraid of what the answer no. But you know, if it's a no, it's a no. Uh, but what if it's not? You know, and uh, you know, just uh, we are so like like you're saying, we are so good at uh, maybe thinking of just the downsides or the things we are not good at. But uh, it, it's the same. Like I mean, for me, doing doing this podcast, I sometimes go through. Oh, should I ask someone to come on the podcast? And uh, you know, we were on the, at ESA together. I'm thinking there's just so amazing people there. Why don't I just ask them to come on my podcast and share the story? And then that day, I said, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll message Emily and ask her if she can come on my podcast. And uh, you know, lo and behold, it was a yes. <laughs> so. It just shows exactly what you're saying. You know, if you can only ask and uh, just uh, that that's all you can do. And you'll find amazing help people, uh, you know, will offer you out there. And, uh, you know, people are going, we're all going through similar sort of stuff. I mean, looking at your story, where you are now, the successes that you're doing, your book launch and everything, you know, who can tell that you went through all these things, including depression and all of that. But when people now get to listen to your story, they get to understand, oh, Emily is just like the best of us. You know, she's also suffered with depression and, you know, had these challenges, but emerged, you know, with uh, successes and looked at life in a different way and made the best of it. And people resonate to these stories, you know. Uh, so it's uh, it's actually quite, quite you know, awesome to, to actually share, just like, like you're saying. So just uh, give us a bit more about the, the, the book as well. Maybe, you know, uh, parents and uh, people who are listening, maybe you can actually help them as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, the idea was, uh, so our business is a membership, but that's mm-hmm. not for everyone. It's little bite-sized chunks each week of useful information, but some people just like to just absorb all the information at once and then go yeah. away and do stuff with it. So I thought it would be really useful to just you know, map it all out and set it all out in a book so that if yeah. you want to if you needed the support if you for some reason you know if you couldn't afford the membership or whatever you would be able to get the help that you needed yeah because it would all be in one place so um i sat down and mapped it out and i've always quite enjoyed writing um and yeah. it's in again short bite-sized chunks because nobody needs some kind of textbook to read that's then yeah. daunting and terrifying because then that's no fun and nobody wants to do it so yeah. uh, it's very lighthearted, very practical, and it takes yeah. you through everything. So we always say we start with mindset. So it's about getting your head right, preparation yeah. wise, getting your child in the right frame of mind to be able to go forward and succeed. Then we talk about organization. So getting your notes organized so that you can find things after you've written them and um, writing up a revision plan to keep you on track. And then it's about studying. So it's about revision methods, what works, what doesn't, how to make your memory work best for you. Then it's about the exams themselves. You know, how do you get the most out of exams? How do you make sure that you have all the exam technique that you need in place? And then it's about planning for the future. So for GCSEs, it's about planning for what you're going to do at sixth form and looking forwards to the future as well, just to make sure you, you're getting on the right trajectory. So it takes you through that stage by stage. It's got um, a little bit of uh, neuro neuropsychology. Is it neuro? Mm-hmm. Uh, we talk about neuroplasticity and things about how the brain works and yeah. why they are so very teenagery, because it's to do with the brain development. And yeah. so this kind of there's a bit of everything. It informs you without it being really you know, dense and textbooky. It gives you practical strategies. So at the end of each chapter, there's the one thing where if you do this one thing, it will make a difference. And you know, it's um, it's designed to be something you can either binge or you can mm-hmm. pick up and put down throughout the year. Uh, and it is available from all good bookstores, so long as they are called Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or from www.parentguidetogcse.com forward slash book. Yeah. And um, it 
won't break the bank. If mm. you're listening to this before, when is it? So the first week of January 2021, yeah. uh, we are celebrating the six month birthday of the book by putting the Kindle version on Spesh. So it will only be 99p. What have oh, you got? Wow. Uh, otherwise, it's normally 4 99 on Kindle, 9 99 in hardback, and yeah. it will take you through everything you need to know all yeah. of the basics all of the things you've always wondered about as a parent and yeah. never quite known what to do so yeah brilliant brilliant i'm, I'm actually looking forward to to getting it myself actually because I've, I've got a um a, a teenager now 13 so going yeah. through some cycles so i'm sure i can get quite a bit from from that as well so that that will be quite useful so uh, and just uh, sort of um like um, uh, final as we, we we round up how do you think in terms of because uh, earlier on you mentioned about you know, going through life, uh, you know, on your own terms, you can dictate your own time and that. So there's uh, quite a bit of leverage involved in that. So how do you think of that in terms of uh, leveraging, whether it's capital or, or, or technology and all of that as, as you are building a business that essentially in the end, because you don't want to replace what was uh, your exchanging of your time for money through the, the teaching, with uh, another job unless it's something that you're passionate about but also building something that actually generates you passive income in a way how are you looking at that in terms of going forward in your business whether it's online courses or something that that you're doing how do you look into all of that <laughs> for me it's been about taking what you know and what mm -hmm. you can teach other people yeah. and turning that into originally a membership yeah. so it was designed to make sure that we could support lots and lots of people yeah. with quite focused amounts of work so the the weekly bite-sized chunks go out via email and we've recorded them as videos as well yeah. but the, the course content so the membership through the year for year 10 is pretty much always going to be the same and for year 11 pretty much always going to be the same so once we've done a full year's worth yeah. that and in the bank for the future and then it's just about, you know, making sure that we're there supporting the members. So, so long as we've got all the content written, yeah, it would largely run itself minus mm -hmm. admin um, yeah. with the one exception of our fortnightly Q and a sessions that we do on Facebook. Yeah. We're, we're putting in the, the work now, the sweat equity so that we've built up all of the resources that we need. And yeah. then just a case of tweaking things accordingly as we, as yeah. we go along. So it's, it's information products and, and taking that, what we know, and packaging it up, packaging to be able it. To deliver it to other people, and then building up various mini courses within that so that there's there's little bite-sized chunks that people can dip in and out of if they want to. But it's just switching your brain to, no, I don't need to physically be online with someone to teach them this. Yeah, There's a way to leverage my time better Yeah. By taking it, turning it into a course. There are plenty of really simple ways to do that nowadays with all sorts of course providers and yeah. um, plenty of ways to set up memberships and things, design them well. Uh, mm -hmm. That's, I think, the way forward is information products. Uh, uh, think, and then kind of <laughs> pop them out in the world and, and yeah. them to grow. Yeah, absolutely. And, and and what I like uh, uh, about you and what you're doing as well that it's 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 pretty much aligned to your to your your passion and the values in terms of knowledge sharing and the education. So you're not you're not uh, teaching or sitting in a classroom or whatever, but you're doing something similar in a in a different way. So talk about thinking of ways to monetize your passion and 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 the things that you like and that's what you what what you're doing despite mm -hmm. facing challenges in doing it in a different form of the classroom so that is something that uh, you know people can actually uh, uh take take away as well so um you've mentioned your website how else can people find you if they wanted to look up emily hughes where else are you <laughs> well, uh, so we have our own podcast, Parent Guide to GCSE podcast. Yeah. And we've done uh, both a series of useful tips in terms of GCSEs, but we've also done a series of episodes um, following the the issues that we had um, earlier on in the year and, and Black Lives Matter movement and things. We yeah. set up a series of difficult but important conversations to have with your child. 
Okay. Because I know as a parent, yeah. not to say is sometimes so scary that you yeah. don't have the conversations that you should. So we've talked about um, things that were horrifying to talk about live on Facebook, but, um, you know, pornography, how to talk to your children about that, alcohol and drugs, yeah. you know, yeah. all sorts of things. So you can find us on the podcast, Parent Guide to GCSE podcast. And then we're at parentguidetogcse.com or parentguidetopost16.com. Yeah. Or if you search either of those on Facebook, we have a Facebook page and a Facebook community. Yeah. So we've brought together a place where parents can go and talk to other parents whose kids are going through the same things and ask for advice, vent, you know, just appreciate that it's not just you because that's always really important. So uh, Parent Guide to GCSE on yeah. Facebook or Parent Guide to Pro 16. Brilliant. That's very useful information, uh, Emily. And thanks for sharing that. I want to finish on a lighthearted note. I'm going to ask you, this is a this or that question. Yeah? So you have to split second thinking. <laughs> Pick yeah, yeah. one from, from, from uh, the, the, these, these two options. So we'll see what uh, uh, comes first in your mind. So it'd be something like, uh, if I say cat or dog? Cat. <laughs> Tea or coffee? Coffee. Mm, summer or winter? Summer. Don't like to be cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More cold. So, yeah. So beach or mountain? Mountain. Don't like sand. Gets Man. everywhere. Ah, oh, because you're a mountain kind of uh, person. If you'd have said Bre swimming pool or mountain, I'd have yeah. said swimming pool. <laughs> Breakfast or dinner? Dinner. Dinner. Ah, good, good. Comedy or drama? Comedy. Comedy. Ah, okay. And the last but not least, hope or freedom? Freedom. Freedom. Ah, oh, that's I a big one. But hope does carry you and, uh, you know, you've got something to look forward to. But then without freedom, what can we do? So that's a, quite a tricky one to, <laughs> to decipher. But uh, Emily, thank you very much for coming on the podcast. You've got a, an amazing story that you've shared with us. I'm sure there will be quite a lot of listeners who will resonate with that and relate to that. And also useful resources. I know I'll be tapping into some of those resources as well. And uh, you gave me some uh, uh, tips as well on, uh, you know, my book, which um, uh, I'll be launching next year. And uh, yeah, very useful stuff. So thank you very much for coming. I'm sure we'll, we'll speak again soon. And we can find you on all those various social media uh, places that you've, you've given us. So any last word or otherwise we'll just... Just, yeah. <laughs> keep on believing you can do it because if yeah. you believe you can do it then you're halfway there you're halfway there perfect that's a, a perfect uh, place to end so enjoy the rest of your day and thank you very much again for coming on the podcast Emily thank you thank you <laughs> All right. cheers Bye.